I'm here in Ilero, in Iowa State, on Niji Farms, a subsidiary of Niji Group. I've known the chairman and CEO for well over 20 years, someone I'm very proud of. Um, someone Nigeria should uh, celebrate, and a good number of them around, so that we can make progress in all areas of our life. Um, please, can we meet you and thereafter in briefly? Let us know how you get here. My name is Kola Adeniji. I'm the MDC of Energy Group. Here we are a solution provider. We operate from end to end when it comes to agriculture, from engineering, design and fabrication, from farm mechanization, then processing, then we have tractor assembly. We equally have a training arms of a, a Niji Group, where we train people on how to become a, a, a farmer, a sustainable system of uh, farming, so we call it NESA. That's the need of sustainable agriculture. So where we are now is uh, our newly uh, modular automated uh, starch line, which is actually designed by me. Most of the starch line we have around, they are too bulky, and uh, you require a lot of energy to run. But I came out with, I came out with this one so that we can have in the, in, the, in the middle of the farm, whereby the energy requirement is not much. This one is almost 50 tons uh, capacity input and you get almost uh, 10 tons of uh, output. So we have this one, then we have Gary line, we have a full line, then we are working on other uh, modular uh, flower line from cassava to flower, so which is going to be you know, used by Nestle. And a lot of uh, uh, other uh, countries are actually looking for our uh, cassava flower because it's uh, gluten free. I've been on this for almost 29 years, providing critical solution to some of our agricultural problems in Nigeria. I've done a lot. I have more than even 80% solution to what can actually keep us out of poverty in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Apart from Nigeria, we actually design and supply our equipment across African countries. So whereby we help people to set up different uh, farming operations, processing, and uh, make sure that we link them to the market. And we keep on saying something that our produce are on high demand, but the problem we're having in Nigeria is the packaging and processing. So we need to change the, the, the way we process and we package our farm produce. And that's the, the, the typical example of what we're doing here, to invest a lot of money in processing. A lot of people count farming as maybe just a means of living. They don't take it as business. Well, here we take it as serious business, agribusiness. So why, when some people are investing in, in, in processing, they just want to invest maybe like one million, two million. No, agriculture is something that you can invest billions of money on. Another thing we are packaging now is we are packaging how we can use cassava as a sweetener to replace sugar in some of our uh, uh, beauties and some of our uh, cola. And that's, that one will create another job of more than 20,000 job for the youth from, from farm to the market, from farm to table. So all those things we are thinking of, how best can we place it? Normally we train youth not as a farmer, we train them as a service provider. So we, we expose them to general agriculture, we allow them to pick a particular aspect of agri whereby they can render service for other, other youth. So normally what we do here, we have different sections of training. We have for the capital investors, then we have for the youth, then we have for the existing farmer, who have been working on the farm, but they're not really making profit. We expose them to different areas where they are making losses. So we help them to actually reduce on the overhead on the processing and get them to the level whereby they can be making a profit. Now we are working on another system, which is alternative funding. We found that Nigerian banks don't really understand agribusiness. And that's why we are looking at how can we set up another alternative uh, funding to fund the farm. Because when you look at the bottleneck of farming and the, to get loan and tractorization, marketing and everything, is, is and repayment, it's too cumbersome. And like cassava processing, you can't loan money for like a, a 12 months and say you want to repay back. It's not possible. Because cassava should be between uh, 18 to almost uh, 20 months because you have to get the money to clear the land, to prepare the land, to plant. And cassava, you cannot plant everything one day. You need to do a kind of stagger planting. Those are the innovations we are bringing into farming. That the way you are looking at it cannot work. 
So we have to look at it from other direction to make sure that we get it right. So that's different uh, model that we are using to make sure that everything set off fine. Basically, we have over 4,000 acres we are working on. So on our own farm, we have another 10,000 we are working with, with the Agroa scheme. But uh, we are trying to just make sure that we make it uh, attractive. And we are trying to put out what will make farming to be more lucrative and more accessible. And we are trying to repackage it by starting to celebrate the uh, farmers, which, which are young farmers. So we want to be celebrating them. So to say, OK, you, you, you are doing well. We need to really celebrate you for other youth to see that we are actually repackaging uh, the, the youth uh, farmer. So thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. It's a pleasure. Yeah.